Well, it appears that it has salt water damage from years ago. Elongated holes here and here. Not good. Uh, yeah. So next project in line is to redo the water um, plumbing. It's old copper and it's well, it's not uh, transporting the hot water. So I wanted to replace them anyway. I cut all the stuff loose for the aft head um, when I did all the work down there because I needed room for the beams. And now I can reach the plumbing all the way here where it meets the um, so uh, water heater and I hope I can just replace them with these PAX plastic tubings I insulate them and put them back together here that's the plan for the day so I'm not sure if I can do this all in one day and if I can't do it in one day that means I don't have any water which kind of sucks um, but I hope I can finish at least in two days, so I have to find a solution for the water. Taking out the old copper piping was the easiest part. I drained the system, cut the old pipes in pieces and then throw them away. They must have been the original pipes from 1974 and some of them looked really bad and were leaking. Time to replace. It didn't take me long and I soon started installing the new plumbing. So now I'm going to start with the plumbing. I had a schematic in my head already how I want to do it. And I bought this um, half inch plastic tubing from Home Depot. It's called PEX, P-E-X. And this is just plug and play. And I hope this will work. So you just stick them together and they're watertight. So no welding, no soldering or crimping necessary. Yeah, they have this tube cutter, which is pretty easy. You just put it on the spot where you want to have it and cut it in a special direction. It makes a really nice and clean cut. And now I'm marking my lengths I want to have and do it straight again. I think you have to push it in a bit. So you just put it on it and push it all the way in. I want to have an, an outdoor shower in the cockpit or on the stern somewhere. So that's why I built a T. From the T it goes to my aft head here for warm water. I will build another T over there to do a shower in there. Yeah, because this things can be released. I think you have to
squeeze in, there's a special tool for it, and then you can take them off, actually. Installing the new pipes in all the tight spots was a little harder, especially alone, with no other hand around to hold or pass things or assist in any way. But the shark bite connectors from Home Depot were a pleasure to work with. Plug and play like it should be. And it seems they have a solution for all the little tasks during installation. So if you want to bend that stuff, I have this little bending supporter so you can just go over it and bend it. I never did that before, but I hope I can just leave it like this for a moment and then take it off again and it will stay like this. <laughs> Okay, let's um, pretend the moment is over. I mean, it's nothing warm or hot or whatever, so it's try to get it off and see. Ha! It stays like that. Not bad, and there's no dent in it. I think it's came off a bit, but that's quite okay. I mean, I don't need a at this point, I actually don't need a really straight 90 degree bend, so that's probably all I need. We'll see. Let's put it together. Number one and number two. The worst thing about stainless steel is that it's not magnetic. Go on. Here. I'm going to work in all these tight spots anyway and if I had to solder here or weld here man that would be pain in the ass and even crimping would be pain in the ass so I love it it's it's great That looks actually really good and I mean it's pain in the ass to work you know bent me over here on my knees and my toes actually and you know pretty much balancing all of my core muscles here but it's actually easy to easy to put together so these two ends are just little nipples I want to connect uh, an outdoor shower, but not now. I'm not doing it now. This goes to the head. It goes all in there. It's all nice and insulated. There are no bands in it. So comes up to here. So the question if you can release them, I can answer with yes you can because it's not that I made a mistake but I changed my mind so actually you just use this little plastic ring um, flip it over and then you try to push it against the fitting put it off that's it with all the plumbing off 
and only a few battery cables to sort. The space was pretty empty, so I took my chance and painted it. Wow, what a difference new paint makes. So here it is, almost everything in place. That's my water filter, accumulator tank, and here's my pressure uh, pump with a strainer, of course. Everything is hooked up to my pull two tanks. Here's my port tank, goes over here. I build a connection bridge to the other side and I actually added um, a ball valve to you know, be able to drain the system. Here's all the installation. So everything else is nice and tidy now. Organized all the, um, the most of the wires, not all of them now. So it should be good. So I'm very happy that I can end this um, project here. I'm, I have the floorboards open for around almost two weeks now and first with the engine on the A-frame then I could lower it but after then I took down the water heater and the water heater is sitting right on top of my engine because I didn't want to disconnect all of um, the hoses. That's why the floorboards are open and tools are everywhere. It took me a little bit longer than I expected but most of it was because I didn't buy enough fittings and couplings so I had to stop working a few times just because I was running out of an elbow or the T coupling or whatever hoses, tubing, insulation so I think I could have um, finished this within easy within three days if I had all the material at hand but it took me a week, a little less than a week now and I can't wait to put pressure on it because I'm out of water since I disconnected everything. I'm living out of jugs, which honestly, it sucks. <laughs> I'm finally pulling things back together. Let's bring the water here back in. It should just easy slip in there. So let's see. Just double check everything and flip on the water and pressure pump. I just replaced everything from the tank to the water heater to the press pump, filter, accumulator tank and to the aft head, to the kitchen, the galley and all the stuff. Everything is brand new and I'm putting pressure on it right now. Fingers crossed, let's hope the best. Wassermarsch! It will take a while because you have to fill up all the hoses. Oh shit. I forgot to put a hose clamp on. How stupid am I? So it's dripping and leaking. Yeah, but that's my fault. That's what I meant with double check everything. Now it will be even harder to check if everything is waterproof because it used to be dry, now it, everything is wet. Okay, let's do it again. Put pressure on that system. You gotta open it and let the air escape. Cold water. And it's building up. And that's warm water. Okay, it's coming. That looks better. Warm water. So the pressure pump stopped working, which means there is pressure on the system. 
everything is filled and it's not leaking it's all dry which is good this is probably from my first experiment without the hose clamp <laughs> pretty stupid actually it looks good so dry as well dry and over to the galley dry as well the only thing which is not dry are the stopping valves so the right one is leaking the left one is fine so I think either the hose is broken or it's the wrong one okay I found the mistake on this one there's no o-ring so it can't work but I should have one so this box came in handy quite a few times already and I'm pretty sure that you shouldn't leave shore without it so done and open That was an easy fix, so water installation part one is done. For now, I can tap, use my tap water uh, again, I can you know, do the dishes, brush my teeth and whatever, wash my hands, which was pretty, yeah, restricted, let's say, it restricted the last week. Using it out of a jerry jug is, you know, quite a problem. So from now on, life goes on. So all what was left to do is clean the mess up. It took a little longer than expected, but it was well worth it. I can't believe it. I got my living area back, my boat back, my house back. I closed the floorboards and I cleaned up. I even made the dishes. It looks great here. Cheers to a successful day. It's just me.